Hi, I'm Fabian Michelangeli, one of the scientists at the New York Botanical Garden. Here we are in Lima, uh, waiting to depart to the Andes, where tonight we'll be traveling by bus for 11 hours, deep into the cloud forest, where we expect to work for the next 12 days looking at the biodiversity, one of these very interesting places in Yanachaga Chemillén National Park. Western Cordillera, we're going to be over 14,000 feet. And then we go down to the Interandean Valleys, and then we're going to go up to the eastern, the, into a valley into the Eastern Cordillera, back up to about 5,000 feet. Yesterday we spent the day in the herbarium and we were looking at different collections and different localities and now we have some good ideas of where we can find some interesting and potentially maybe even new things. And we're gonna go find the first of these localities. It's raining a lot so it might not be the best day to collect but we pushed through. One of the things of working in these areas is that I have a global perspective. Like I have seen the plants that I work with all the way from Cuba to Argentina. But I don't know the individual species or where they are exactly. And that's the advantage of working with local people is that they might not have the global perspective, but they know the ecology, know where the plants are, and they know the individual species. So it's a partnership all the time. And that's why I enjoy being here and teaching them, and they teach me. It's, you never stop learning. We're hoping to climb up to uh, about 10, 11,000 feet, so it's over a 3,000 feet climb today. Very different environment from yesterday, and hopefully we'll get uh, another good set of plants. Why do you do this? Why do I do this? Because I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> but I do this, I hike all of this, and I have bad food, and I get tired because I want to learn about biodiversity and I want to understand how organisms interact and how what they are here, why not. The broader impact is that we can only manage what we understand and if we don't understand our environment how are we going to manage it or even take advantage of it. Parting words. <laughs> I hope that this uh, exercise will serve to illustrate and make you understand a little bit of the behind the scenes work that it takes to understand biodiversity, to understand our planet, to understand our resources, 
and it starts from very basic knowledge of where the plants are and which are the plants are in one place and when they bloom, when they fruit, how common they are. And, and unless you do this type of hard work, it, you don't get that data. I just got stung or bitten, I don't know what the technical term would be in this case, by this mini tarantula here. Dangers of the field. <laughs>